Good morning. My name is Juan Luis, and I want to share with you something that concerns me more and more. Something that we have on the Vulti, fed for hundreds of years and deserve the alias of the being monster. Contamination. What is it? How does it manifest? What consequence does it have? How to counter contamination? What knowledge do people have? Do people do something to help the environment? They are some of the questions that we will know in this tour. Accompany me and part of the change. Contamination is a presence in the environment of one or more pollutants or any combination thereof, which adversely affects or is detrimental to human life, health and welfare. Flora and fauna or degrades air quality, water, soil, or goods and resources in general. According to the UNESCO book, Glossary of Terms of the Environment, written by Vicente Sanchez and Beatriz Giza. There are different types of contamination, such as water, air, soil, radioactive, thermal, and light. Among the most varied consequences are the greenhouse effect, meteorological phenomena, more potent and more frequent, impossibility of planting in contaminated soil, deforestation, extinction of animals, and overexploitation of natural resources. Example of this Addresses consequence are the declaration of the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration that describes 2016 as the hottest in the last 137 years and with the largest increase of carbon dioxide in the last 58 years with 402.9 particles of carbon dioxide in each million. In addition, the uncommon presence of four near simultaneous hurricanes, Harvey, the most expensive in America history, Irma, the most potent so far, open ocean and hurricanes Katia and Joseph. Many specialists believe that this will be more common in the coming years, or simply the fact that breathing in the air of Mexico is equivalent to smoking 40 cigarettes a day. You may be wondering how can this problem be solved, and the answer is cannot be solved. The only thing we can do is try to reduce contamination to encourage all its consequences, which is one of the objectives of the still current Paris Agreement, signed by 193 countries. Its objectives are keep the average global temperature rise well below 2 degrees, 